Hey, Crimson Tide fans, come on in. Let's huddle up and let's talk about the Western Carolina Catamounts coming to town. And we will touch on the Texas A&M game as well. I asked you to send me some questions you have, so let's get to them, Cup. All right, the first question is from Victoria. What happened last week? Ugh. Victoria, what are you going to do? We got outplayed most of the game. A&M's a fine team, as you folks saw. We did not play our best game. I think they played their best game. They didn't turn the ball over, had minimal penalties, made some great plays, and we gave them the ball a few times. So we got to suck it up, learn from our loss, and get better from here out. Okay, well, Randy Carr wants to know, there's no reason to call that pass play that got intercepted at the end of the A&M game. You have to rely on a stable of backs to get it in. Do you agree? Well, Randy, we weren't running the ball all that well anyway. But in first and six or so, we had a pass play called and we got the scramble, right? Then we went to Lacey on second and six, and we only gained one yard. Naturally, I, I think they were expecting us to run, so we tried to outguess them. Third down, we go to another pass play. McCarron's able to save some ground, get up there, gets hit hard, man. Now it's fourth down and two, right? I'm watching the game with Jessica. I'm saying, time out, time out, time out. I was in a similar situation. We were in a similar situation with Alabama Crimson Tide playing against Texas January 1st, 1965. It came down to fourth down. We huddled up, man. We were we, we're going to get it in there, Dorman. I called a quarterback sneak because we're going to get it in there. And I'm going to tell you what. 47 years later, or how many years, I have thought so many times, why didn't I call timeout? Why didn't I call timeout on that fourth down and go over there and talk it over with Coach Bryant? Huh? Why didn't we call timeout right there on that fourth down? We went to the well once too often. That play had worked for us throughout the season. A&M had scouted us well. We called that play that worked for us on fourth down there. They were waiting on it. They outguessed us. They read us. Let me put it that way. I wish we'd have called timeout. We didn't. Next case. Let's move <laughs> okay. on. Okay. Carlene wants to know what changes do you see Alabama making in this game? Carlene, we're just going to go back to working on basics. Uh, I know Coach Saban alluded after the game and talked about the tackling in the secondary could improve. Uh, some blocking could improve. There's areas that we can get better as a team. We're going to focus more on ourselves. At least that's what Coach Saban says. We're going to focus on ourselves and try to get better, not focusing on our opponents so much. We need to improve ourselves. Okay, well, Pat wants to know how will they pull out a national championship now? Pat, it's still a possibility, buddy. You know that? Uh, things can happen. We've got three teams ahead of us that still have some games to play, too. First of all, we've got to take care of our own business. We got to handle this Western Carolina team, then we got to handle those, you know, well, you know, the other team across the state. Now, as much as we know we're a better team than that team from across the state, we still have to prove it on that given day. First, it's these catamounts. Second, it's that team from over there. Then third, if we get to that SEC championship, it's going to be a monster game because we'll be playing a very tough opponent. Right now, let's enjoy tomorrow, okay? Let's get a good win over this uh, Carolina bunch, huh? And you folks stay safe, have a good time, have a great Thanksgiving, and we'll talk again soon. All right, until then, it's Roll Tide. Roll tide. Ready, break.